So I usually travel on off seasons. It's super quick and efficient and now it's taken almost all day to get here for what was about an hour flight. And now that the holiday is over, people are heading back home, clogging roads and airports. Today was expected to be a record breaking day for holiday travel all over the country, and Kansas City is no exception to that. Fox 4's Lexi French is live out of KCI with more on the travel rush. Lexi, you spoke with some people today. What issues did they tell you they had? Shannon, thankfully, today looked a lot different for drivers than yesterday. Most of the main roads around the metro were cleared following Saturday's snowfall. Now, when it comes to flights, we spoke with some passengers who said they had a smooth travel day and others ran into some big delays. Long day and then our plane came in late from Denver and then it got delayed another hour to come here. So I'm finally here. KCI airport officials expected near record passenger numbers for this year's Thanksgiving travel rush. The Kansas City Aviation Department estimated more than 405,000 passengers would arrive or depart from KCI over the peak Thanksgiving travel period. It was very busy. We were in line for over an hour from O'Hare Airport in Chicago trying to get in. So what would have normally taken me like 10 minutes to get to the airport took almost an hour. More than 43,000 passengers were estimated to come through KCI on the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Some people say there were no delays to their travel plans despite the Thanksgiving rush. It wasn't as bad as, uh, as it could be. Um, definitely colder coming back to Kansas City from the south. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. The travel rush also expands to drivers. Most of the main roads in the metro area were cleared Sunday, making it a little bit easier for holiday travel. Still, MoDOT reminded drivers to stay alert on the roads, put phones away, and buckle up to keep yourself and other drivers safe during the increase in traffic. Yeah, and the Kansas City Aviation Department was estimating that there'd be a 15% increase in traffic at the airport this Thanksgiving season compared to last year. Shannon. Lexi French live at the airport tonight. Lexi, thank you.